And here will be our protagonist for the video, Bob. Bob does not have a surname, Bob does not deserve one. We will see if he earns it by the end of this video by lasting long enough. Bob will be spawning in with the obese, unfit and weak traits in order to give him absolutely zero stats. Okay, so a few people called me out in the comments after the last video about using multi-hit. So this time around, I've decided to switch off multi-hit and the XP multiplier is starting at 1. Okay, so here we are. We have spawned into Levensburg. If you don't know what Levensburg is, it is a mod. I will leave all of my mods at the end of the video, so do stay uh, till the end to check those out. Uh, until then, you know, obviously if you like Project Zomboid videos, you like the Zero to Hero challenges, do think about subscribing, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm loving the growth on this channel. Uh, it's fantastic to see some of the really positive comments that we've been getting and how much people have been enjoying the video, so I do really appreciate it. Yeah, sorry if the energy levels are a little bit low, I've spent hours trying to record videos and I have died a lot. <laughs> so I'm hoping this run goes a little bit smoother, just for my own sanity, and so I can actually get a video together. Now, we are managing to catch a cook show here. This is really positive for us. Hopefully, we can now develop our first skill, because as you can see, we have absolutely zero and we failed to get cooking level one, fantastic. Okay, we have found a kitchen knife, that'll do for now. There is a key, nice. Two water bottles, perfect. We're gonna grab these as well. A sneaking book, yep, yeah, cool, we'll have that. A basement magazine, a metal working magazine, a dance magazine, a foraging book, hell yes. Okay, before we go anywhere, we are going back into our apartment and we are reading absolutely all of these. Okay, so we are gonna start with the Athletics Volume 1 book. We're then gonna read this dance magazine. We're gonna read the First Aid Volume 1, Foraging Volume 1, In the Basement Volume 2, Lane's Automotive Manual, uh, the Metalworking Volume 1, and the Stealth Sneaking book. Okay, we have gone up one level in the carpentry skill. Now, one thing I forgot to do this video, I did try to record a run of this before. I was gonna do this run with the schizophrenic trait. However, I have completely forgotten to select it. So it is a standard zero to hero run in Leavenberg. If you guys are interested in the idea of a attempt at a 100 day survival with schizophrenia with zero stats, do let me know in the comments as I would love to give that a go. There is definitely a zombie or two up here. Hello there. You don't have anything. There is a dance mag. Get life and living on, should we need it. Ooh, some more books. We've got another engineering one. We've got an electrical book. Okay, that's very good. And a melee weapon axe beginner book. Very nice. Ooh, gun magazine. What have we got here? Ooh, M9 as bullets, nice. There we go, a mountain dew can, we'll take that. I've noticed these tend to give you more energy, so definitely worth us picking them up. Metalwork mag, and an emotional intelligence book, nice. Uh, ooh, pipe wrench, we'll use this as our new weapon for now. Ooh, and we have found a freedom gas mask, so we're gonna wear that immediately. Look at that, absolute creep. Another dance mag, okay, nice. Another emotional intelligence book, oh my god, a herbalist magazine, ooh, leather gloves. And even better, a drug pipe. Very nice. We look like we've uh, been using a few drug pipes. Okay, electrical volume one. Okay, let's just sit on the ground. We've got a few things to read again. So we are gonna read this dance magazine. We're gonna read electrician volume one. We're gonna read emotional intelligence boredom volume one. We're gonna read emotional intelligence stress level one. Uh, we're going to read Engineer Magazine Volume 2. We're then going to read Melee Weapons Volume 1, which is based on the axe. We're going to read The Herbalist, and we're going to read The Metalwork Magazine Volume 3. Bit of a rubbish place to put a uh, painting there. Another Emotional Intelligence book, a cooking book, hell yeah. Uh, another Melee one, but we're not quite at the skill level for that. Farming, farming. Okay, fantastic, that's uh, blocking the door. Ooh, Welder Mask. Uh, we'll stick that on over our gas mask. Bosh. Right, we found a metal bar. We'll attach that to our back. Oh, a hand axe. Let's attach that to our belt. Okay, we're going to have to drop something. Um, oh, no, I don't know what to drop. Let's drop the knife. You know what? We'll drop the pipe wrench. Nothing else good there. Ooh, we're in the garage. Oh, hell yeah. Bush machete. We'll take that primary. Oh, there is a generator here. Oh, there is a shovel. Attach that to our back and we'll drop the pipe. Right, quickly head upstairs and get some food. Now we're going to read some of these books. We're going to read Cooking Volume 1. We're going to read Emotional Intelligence Boredom Volume 2. We're going to read Farming Volume 1. And the Farming Magazine as well. Right, okay. Let's fill up our water bottles because they are getting a bit empty. And then we are going to eat some peanut butter. Now there is going to be another life and living show on, so I think best course of action is to actually 
get ready to watch that. Now we really need to find a bag pretty soon. What's Dean gonna teach us? Okay, he's almost taught us level one fishing, but not quite. Okay, I've just made a little note on the map just to show this is where we spawned. I've got a nice little house and I've got an electricity symbol just to symbol the generator that we found in the garage. Uh, it's quite a built up area, so which house do we explore next? Right, let's check out next door's house. Ooh, a hunter magazine, nice. All right, anything in here? Oh Jesus, yeah, there's a lot of things in here. We'll take the hammer for now. Oh, another hand axe. We're finding lots of weapons, but we just really need a bag if we're gonna take all of these. Was that a tool belt that I just saw? Hell yeah, we'll wear this. Ooh, how to forge a katana, very nice. Another emotional intelligence book and a tailoring book, very nice. This is proving to be a brilliant place to spawn, but also finding an electronics magazine, wicked. Let's push on upstairs. We are getting highly exerted, so hopefully there is nothing dangerous upstairs. All right, carpentry book and a mechanics book. Oh, there is a Pontiac key as well, nice. Right, we need to take out this zombie quick. Uh, let's eat this avocado. Hopefully it will reduce our encumbrance. Let's eat all of this mayo as well. Oh, that's an uh, unfortunate thing to walk out to. Ooh, another emotional intelligence book. Cool. We are heavily exerted though, so let's whack on this TV. We'll avoid the little party that's gone on here with all our favourite drinks. Go on, sit on the ground. Let's read all of the books that we've got to reduce our encumbrance. We're going to start off by reading Carpentry Volume 1. We're then going to read the Doomsday Survivor Volume 1. We're going to read it, uh, the Electronic Magazine Volume 2. Emotional Intelligence Anger Volume 3. We're going to read Emotional Intelligence on Happiness Volume 5. Uh, we're then going to read How to Forge Michonne's Katana. That'll be very handy. We're then going to read Mechanics Volume 1. We're then going to read Tailoring Volume 1. And then The Hunter's Magazine Volume 1. Plenty of books for us to build up our skills. Now, this is probably going to make us sick sleeping in a body with a corpse. So, I tell you what, let me grab the corpse. We're going to dump it in the room next door. There we go. Drop the corpse. And we are just going to sleep in here tonight. All right, we have woken up at 10 past 5. We are, however, highly exerted because of all the stuff we're carrying. All right, I'm just going to sit on the ground and we are going to wait for the cook show to come on just until we're no longer highly exerted. Okay, we don't have level 1 cooking yet, so hopefully this should get us to level 1. And with all the cooking things that we've read, hopefully that should help us boost our skills. And would you look at that, level 2 cooking, very nice. Right, let's eat all of this mayonnaise and all of this almond milk. That sounds like a horrific combination, Bob. Okay, let's head on upstairs a little bit. We desperately need a bag because we are still carrying a very heavy load. Ooh, another gun case, what's in here? I mean, I'd love to take this, but we just, ugh, we can't. Or oh, good cooking magazine and trapping volume one very nice now there's a leather jacket here i just i don't think that's even worth it oh there is a king kong poster let me uh take this that's very cool i mean it's a pixelated mess but there's a nice little king kong poster uh there's a different gas mask here we'll wear this just to change things up even though you can't really see it under this Ooh, some white hair dye we'll dye this we'll dye our beard and our hair it's like the apocalypse has aged us very quickly I think if we don't find a bag, we might have to drop this shovel. It might just be too heavy for us. What do we get rid of? Now, it might be worth getting rid of the machete. Yeah, the machete's battered. So we're going to drop the machete. And we're going to equip the shovel in both hands instead. Right, we're going to lie down on the bed so we can relax a little bit. All right, whilst on the bed, we're going to read this cooking magazine. And we're going to read Trapping Volume 1 as well. Okay, I think we just need to chill for a short while. We'll leave all our weapons down there. Again, if you are interested in any of the mods, like I mentioned at the start of the video, they will all be listed at the end. We are catching the Carpentry Show as well. So hopefully we can get up to Carpentry Level 2. And there we are, Carpentry Level 2. Very nice, that is carpentry level 2 and cooking level 2. We do just need to get those fitness stats up next. We are still highly exerted, that's really annoying. I am going to try and do some exercise though, because we really do need to get our stats up. I'm going to try and do an hour of burpees. God, the fitness grind begins again. Okay, we are highly exerted again, so let's lie on the bed and we're going to rest a little bit more. <laughs> we kind of sat on the drawers instead there. Oh god, we're still highly exerted. We need to try and get some food. But right, let's eat this canned tuna. Hopefully we don't pass out and we can do some more exercise before we go to bed. Okay, we've passed out and that means we're going to miss exposure survival. My god, we've passed out until 8 o'clock the next day. That means we've missed two Life in Living shows. That is absolutely going to kill us. 
Right, let's eat these canned sardines. Right, let's grab all this food as well whilst we're down here. Right, okay, exercise. So, I know we've only explored two houses, but this early on, we really need to get our stats up. So we're gonna do a full day of exercise today. And hopefully we can grind our way to at least having level one fitness or level two, well, level one strength. Okay, we're gonna rest for a bit. Right, get up. Let's do an hour of push-ups next. All right, hour of push-ups. Okay, we are absolutely battered again. So let us lie on the bed. We're gonna lie on the bed. We're going to eat some tortilla chips, and now we are going to rest and hopefully catch us the life and living show. So we can learn maybe another skill of carpentry. That'd be lovely. Uh, we don't quite get to carpentry level three. Let's do an hour of squats next, I think. Yeah, an hour of squats. God, we might have uh, zero fitness stats, but this guy is already in better shape than me. That is some uh, suspect technique when you speed it up. All right, let's fill up our bottles. We're getting thirsty. All right, let's lie on the bed. And let us rest until the next show. Uh, let's eat some chocolate before we work out. That just seems like a great idea. Love we keep the chocolate with the drip pipe. Right, let's do some sit-ups next, I think. There we go. Let's get those going. God, we only managed half an hour of that. That's not great. What's Dean going to teach us today on the Exposure Survival Show? Okay, we finally hit fishing level one. Thank you very much, Dean. Okay, and we've passed out for the second night in a row. All right, and we wake up at eight o'clock fantastic let's eat some uh, vegetable soup in bed right let's do some more exercise hour of burpees please right hopefully we can hit either level fitness one or strength level one today or tomorrow okay we are managing to catch another episode of the carpentry show hopefully this should get us to level three nope nowhere near <laughs> all right can pineapple open that we're gonna do an hour of push-ups there we go, hour of push-ups. Oh, we are so close to strength level one. We need at least that before we take on some more zombies. Let's do an hour of squats next. Oh god, our legs are shaking a bit after that. I think we're gonna pass out for a third day in a row. All right, lie on the bed. All right, please don't pass out. Let's actually catch exposure survival today. There you go, what's Dean gonna teach us today? Okay, I don't actually know what Dean taught us that time. Let's quickly run downstairs and get some food. We're gonna eat all of this fruit jam and one of these granola bars. All right, let's head upstairs. It'd be nice to do a little bit more exercise before uh, going to bed, but I feel like we are probably going to pass out again. Right. Sit on the ground. Oh, please just get a little bit less encumbered. Oh, for God's sake, we passed out again. This time on the floor, that's not good. God, we are in a lot of pain. What day does this put us on? Uh, so that puts us on day five. I might just spend, honestly, the first week just doing exercise, uh, just because I'm really not happy with these skills. I think we do need to get them up quickly. Let's do another hour of, of uh, squats. All right, come on, good sir. Keep squatting, keep teabagging that floor. All right, more exercise. Let's see, can we do some push-ups? Come on, try and do an hour of push-ups. I feel like we're not going to be able to do an hour because we are already high exertion. Come on, Bob. Okay, Bob managed about 10 minutes all right lie on the bed and let's rest as well just until we're not as uh, exerted come on bob an hour of burpees let's get you in shape oh, have we seriously still not managed to hit at least strength level one well at least we're catching a little bit more of exposure survival not exposure survival the carpentry show i should say yeah a bit of woodcraft is this going to get us to level three let's hope so Yes, we have managed to hit carpentry level three. That's great news. Let's have this granola bar. Love both of them, actually. Let's get an extra hour of burpees in. All right, hour of burpees, mate. Let's get you that first level of strength. Yes, level one strength. Very nice. We might have just grown our very first muscle, Bob. Well done. We are getting tired again. However, we should have enough energy for an hour of burpees and then catch the exposure survival show. Five o'clock, right, before we pass out, let's go get some food. We're gonna have all of this maple syrup for dinner. How delicious, bosh, very nice. I think just in case the helicopter rocks up while we're here, we are gonna close the curtains, so hopefully no zombies notice that we're chilling here. Right, we're gonna lie on the bed, and we're gonna rest, and hopefully this time we are gonna catch exposure survival. Yes, we are managing to catch exposure survival. Yes, Dean has taught us foraging volume one. Fantastic. Right, can we fit in a little bit more exercise? Can we try some push-ups? Right, try and do some push-ups, and then we'll go to bed. Okay, we, we couldn't even do a minute, so we'll just go straight to bed. God, we've woken up at 2.50, 2 so 10 to 3 in the morning. We're on day six. We're just going to do more exercise today. Yeah, I think it, it just makes sense. We get to watch TV, and we get to do exercise. We're in too much pain, actually. Hold on. Do we have any pain killers? God, we, uh, we are in agony. That's not great. All right, let's just rest a little bit. All right, exercise. Please let us do, we're in too much pain. Okay, 
Um, you know what, as much as I want this gun, I think we are just going to leave it. Right, okay, it's time that we push the next door and we'll get some food and then we'll push the next door just to freshen things up a little bit. Right, let's eat this can of oats, nice. Alright, it's kind of bad we're a week in, we've only been in these two uh, house. Maybe we'll make Bob's surname Hermit, that seems quite fitting. Right, let's go next door. Pretty sure we now have the key to this, don't we? Yes, okay, we do have a car. Oh, there you are. I wondered where you were. You haven't seen one of these in a while. Wouldn't be surprised if our character forgot they even existed. Ooh, Wasteland Warriors, we'll take that. Alright, open window. Oh, fuck, right, okay. Ooh, there's one at the back door. Now, we are a bit battered, so hopefully we can take this one on. Ooh, a dance magazine and cooking volume two. We're gonna take both of those. Another emotional intelligence book, anger volume two, that one. Um, electrical, no, nah, we'll take the automotive magazine. Cool. All right, anything of interest in here? Ooh, hold on, do I have a screwdriver? No, not yet. If I can get a screwdriver, I'll start disassembling all of the radios just to start getting our uh, electrical skill up. Whoa, okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, there is a machete, machete, where, oh God, open. Attach that to our back, very nice. And we're gonna take the screwdriver as well. Oh, we are heavily encumbered now though. In typical fashion of these videos, when I disassemble electrical items, I'm probably gonna leave the majority of it off camera, just so, you know, you don't have to watch it because it's boring. Ooh, six o'clock, let's get the cook show on. I think I should be able to disassemble things like these jukeboxes, so yes, I can. Let me do that. I want to watch the cook show. We're learning how to make a family pie, very nice. The only pies Bob knows how to make begin with cream. That was disgraceful. Ooh, loads of emotional intelligence books. Ooh, fishing as well, nice. Another emotional intelligence book. Okay, before we go anywhere, we are sitting down and reading all of these. Right, let's read Cooking Volume 2, The African Rainbow Dance Magazine. We're then gonna read Emotional Intelligence Anger, Volume 1. Emotional Intelligence Anger, Volume 2. Emotional Te Intelligence Anger, Volume 5. Uh, emotional Intelligence Stress, Volume 2. And then Emotional Intelligence and Happiness, Volume 4. Uh, after that, we'll be reading Fishing, Volume 1, and the Lane's Automotive magazine. Oh, not to forget, we're also going to be reading the Wasteland Warrior, Volume 1 as well. Very nice. We're getting very clever, very big-brained. Oh shit, I do hear an alarm somewhere. I found a key. Not anything in the fridge. Yes, we can eat this orange. And this Parmesan cheese, why not? Right, we can hear an alarm going off. We are going to need to find that quickly. Is it upstairs or downstairs? I don't really know. It must be downstairs. Wait, no. It's in one of these rooms. Okay, it's not this alarm. Oh, there is a gun here. I do I do like these. The DE pistols. Oh, I'm just going to take it. Oh, we have found some leather gloves. We'll wear these. And a military sweater. We'll wear that as well. Sorry if you hear barking in the background, by the way. I am filming this from home, where my dogs are downstairs going a bit mental. Could it have been this alarm clock? I don't know, hopefully not. Okay, Metalwork Magazine, uh, Electrical Volume 1. Two different gun cases, right, put both of them on the floor. Okay, let's take the Magnum Rounds and the Extra Magazine. Ooh, painkillers, right, take one of these now. Right, get the curtains closed. Let's drop everything, lie on the bed, and we're gonna read this Electronics Magazine, and we're also gonna read this Metalworking Magazine. We have got massive exercise fatigue still. And now, let's just sim forward till we're a bit less tired. We've managed to go up to fitness level one by resting. That's that's interesting. Okay, cool, we are catching woodcraft. Okay, cool, we earn a little bit towards level four. All right, let's go downstairs and get some lunch. Let's have all of this milk. I can hear another alarm going off. It's not this one, but it does sound like it's in this house. Either way, we are now gonna do another hour of burpees. Very sus why his head bobs forward like that when he rests. Let's do another hour of push-ups. Okay, lie on the bed. Right, okay, let's open it's canned chili right eat all of this and hopefully we'll now catch exposure survival yes it is dean dean is back with some more nature for us and he's taught us two levels in trapping fantastic let's rest a little bit hopefully we don't pass out straight away and we've passed out again fantastic we're making a habit of that perfect so we've now woken up at bang on eight o'clock in the morning this puts us okay alarm clock uh stop that alarm I don't know what just happened to him then. They just flew out of bed. Oh, we've been gaining weight. We're up to 112 now. That's not great. This just put us on day seven. We are a week into surviving. The helicopter should be rocking up anytime soon. I, again, think it's a good idea for us to just stay here until the helicopter passes now. Right, let's go get some more food from downstairs. Right, let's eat this dog food instead of all the other good foods that we have. Right, let's take all of these cans with us. Right, take the marinara and the chips and the chicken broth as well. We're going to take all this food upstairs. Alright, let's stick all of our canned food in this cupboard for now. 
just so we don't have to keep going downstairs. Absolutely everything in our little drawer next to the bed. Being a little hermit, not getting out. All right. Let's do a hour of burpees now. There we go. Hour of burpees and rest. There we go. Right, let's do another hour of burpees and go. God, I wish I would uh, get myself in shape like this in real life. That'd be nice. All right, lie on the bed and rest. There we go. Hopefully there's still one more uh, carpentry show we can catch. Yes, we are managing to catch another woodcraft. Very nice. God, I can hear another alarm clock again downstairs. Hopefully they're not attracted to this house. Right, let's have all of this chicken broth quickly. All right, more exercise. Let's do another hour of burpees. Come on. Come on, Bob. Let's get your whip you into shape. Come on, speed up, man. All right, we're going to catch Dean's exposure survival whilst we do. I'm thinking an hour of squats, just so we can stare Dean in the eyes whilst we squat and look at him. There we go. We squat for Dean. Oh, we've gone up another level in foraging. Very nice. All right, we're going to eat some chips as well quickly. I'm quite happy with the progress we've made so far with these stats. We have only killed four zombies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't think I've made it this far in with that little few kills. We're basically doing a pacifist run. Okay, let's rest on the bed a little bit more. All right, rest. We've passed out again. Fantastic. And we awake to an alarm clock downstairs at 8 o'clock in the morning. All right. Good sir. We need to start the day by taking a painkiller and then we're going to eat this marinara sauce. I think we're going to be in too much pain to exercise straight away. Oh wait, no, okay. Let's do an hour of burpees immediately. Maybe we don't bother going out until maybe we hit strength level two. I don't know. Right, lay back down on the bed and rest. And let's do an hour of push-ups. Right, we're going to lie on the bed. Okay, we are catching a bit of TV, but all of the woodcraft will be done now, which is a little bit annoying. Right, jump up out of bed. Before we do any exercise, we're going to open this can tuna. Right, let's do another hour of burpees. Come on, Bob. I can hear that alarm going again downstairs. And let's rest. Right, let's do an hour of push-ups. Right, start skipping forward. Right, lie on the bed and let's rest. Right, rest a little bit more. Okay, we are actually catching more carpentry show. Okay, we managed to get a little bit of skill from that. Right, let's try and eat a bit of food. Open the canned corn beef. Oh, we've passed that before we can eat it. Okay, we wait to that alarm downstairs again. That's annoying. Let's very quickly... Uh, Fill up our water bottles. All right, exercise. We're gonna do another hour of burpees. We're not leaving until one of these hits level two or we run out of food. <laughs> All right, lie on the bed and rest, jump up. Let's do another hour of burpees. Power through, quick. Oh my God, please. Right, lie on the bed. Rest again and heal up a bit. All right, jump back up. This time, I think we're going to do a hour of push-ups. Nice, power through. Look, you can just see his feet behind the wardrobe. Oh my god, right. Lie on the bed again. We're going to rest again. All right, I'm going to jump up. We're going to open this canned pineapple. Eat all of it. All right, more exercise. This time, we're going to do an hour of squats. All right, lie on the bed and rest a bit more again. No, we passed out again, for God's sake. Oh, we wake up to a gunshot and the alarm again downstairs. God, we keep gaining weight. Oh, God, we really need to change our diet a little bit. And now, we're going to fill up our bottles. And to be honest, I think we spent long enough hiding around. All right, I don't think we're going to bother taking the gun and the shield. I kind of do want to take the gun. Let's add the axes to our belt. We're going to take the machete, use that primary, and we're not going to take the shovel and we're not going to take the pistol because we're just too heavily encumbered. All right, so we are 10 days into this now. We've still only killed four zombies and these are our skills at the 10 day mark. Um, I think next we need to explore more of the neighborhood and I need to actually show you guys a bit of this map for those that haven't played it before. All right, let's eat these crackers. Okay, ooh, big truck. Me want big truck. Oh, you're joking. We've got a hope that a key is lurking around here somewhere for this truck. Oh, there's definitely one in here. Uh, oh, how to use generators, perfect, we'll take that. Mm, God, we are heavily exerted now, we need to be careful. Oh, another electronics magazine, a guns magazine as well, beautiful. Right, let's eat some food. Let's uh, eat these lemons, there's carrots and there's cabbage, very nice. Oh my God, in the basement volume one, in the basement, volume three, we've already read volume two. Oh my God, that is brilliant. Seems like there is plenty of loot here for us to check out. Ooh, there's some alcohol there. Lane's automotive magazine. Okay, I can hear the helicopter now. Let's close these blinds. God, that helicopter's getting loud. All right, sit down. And we're just gonna spam read through all of our magazines. So we're gonna read. Sorry if I'm whispering, by the way, I'm filming quite late at night, my family home. <laughs> 
Okay, we're going to read the electronics magazine. We're going to read Guns Volume 1. We're going to read the How to Use Generators magazines. We're going to use the In the Basement magazine, uh, as well as the Volume 3 of it. We're going to read the Automotive magazine. And then we're going to read Raven's Notes. Now, this should teach us how to make a nail bomb, a glass bomb, assemble a pipe bomb, and make a decoy. So that will come really in handy, hopefully. Before we move on anywhere else, we are just going to rest for a bit. Okay, cool. Let's go check upstairs and see what that banging is. I really can't tell where he is. Ooh, another emotional intelligence book. This one's about unhappiness. I, uh, I think we're gonna need that in time. Okay, I'm really confused because I can't work out where the banging's coming from. Ooh, painkillers, we'll take these. Can't believe we genuinely haven't found a bag yet. Ooh, another dance magazine. Is it next door, maybe? I'm really confused. Right, let's eat some chips. And some chocolate, why not? You know what? Some beef broth as well. What a combo. Okay, we're going to take a quick moment to read this dance magazine and the Unhappiness Emotional Intelligence book. Okay, I don't think I want to risk going out just because of how tired we are already. What do we do? I think maybe we do some exercise. That seems like a good idea before bed. So let's do an hour of burpees. Yeah, we're just going to do an hour of burpees whilst we're... Uh... We're waiting to be too tired to go out again. All right, let's get some dinner and then we'll go to bed. All right, let's eat some cereal and we'll eat some maple syrup as well. All right, Bob boy, straight to bed. Uh, we're sleeping on the sofa tonight. God, we have woken up encumbered again. Let's just rest a little bit more. Okay, that sounds like the garage door that's getting banged on. I hope that's not ours. Okay, I'm gonna leave all of those for now. Let's see where that banging's coming from. Oh, fuck. Right, let's go check out another one of these houses. Oh, it is our garage door you're banging on. Oh, there's a nice little Mustang down there. We'll check that out. Oh, another post-apocalyptic night magazine. Very nice. This has been one hell of a spawn. We found so much good loot. Right, is there a key in here? <gasps> okay, we've got a Mustang. This is now our car. Beautiful. We are now the owner of a lovely little Mustang. Okay, there's definitely zombies in this one. Ooh, two athletic books. Uh, another emotional intelligence book. This one's about stress. I'm definitely going to need that. Another athletic sprinting one. Oh my god. Oh, they're in here. Ooh, gunsmith journal. Yes, we'll take that. Another emotional intelligence book. Let's just read this on the spot. Ooh. Okay, we found Warrior Freedom Trousers, we'll wear that. And an uh, Exo Helm, whatever this is, we'll wear that either way. Hell yeah. <gasps> Stop everything. There's a cocaine brick. We're taking it. We're extremely heavily encumbered, but it's worth it. Right, I need a bag. Absolutely need one at this point. Oh my god, a railroad hammer. We're definitely taking that. I'm going to lob these immediately in the car. By these, I mean the hammer and the cocaine. Right, put the cocaine brick in the back of the Mustang, of course, priority, and the railroad hammer as well. Nice. I'd be incredibly shocked if there's no zombie up here. Really? There isn't one? Oh, good cooking magazine. Read it immediately. There's a lot of booze here. We can have fun. Oh, another good cooking magazine. We're going to read that straight away too. And a cup show tape. Okay, we're going to save that for now. Right, I'm going to have all of this maple syrup. Very crunchy maple syrup. <laughs> There's a box of sparklets. Can you actually do anything with that? It doesn't seem like it. Okay, there is 100% a zombie up here. Okay, there's one. Electronics magazine, read that immediately. We are experiencing a bit of pain. Yeah, it's uh, exercise fatigue, of course. Yes, you're in here. Come on, let's get rid of you. I just realized I need to start disassembling these spare to uh, TVs. This will massively help us with uh, getting our electrical skill up. God, it's a real grind to get the electrical skill up. My God. Oh, another emotional intelligence, two more emotional intelligence books. Let's just read those immediately. Another unhappiness one. God, it's really hammering that home, isn't it? All right, let's go rest for a little bit and then we'll push on to the next house. Oh, the soup's rotten. I was going to eat that. All right, we're going to eat this carrot and then we're going to eat these instant noodles as well. Very nice. Let's rest for a little bit. Okay, we're going to hop in the Mustang and I think we check houses a tiny bit further away. The Mustang isn't in perfect condition, but it will do. Okay, this might have been a bad move. I don't want to attract too many of these. Oh my god, the lag is unreal. Ooh, a twin Mustang. Alright, quickly in here before any more zombies notice us. That was a terrible idea. Oh fuck, didn't even see you. Ooh, auto-tuning magazine, nice. <gasps> Hello. Ooh, another bag of cocaine. You know what, we're gonna have a quick snort of that. You've earned that, Bob. Enjoy. We don't quite feel as tired as we did before. There is a propane tank in there. That's pretty handy, but I don't think we can carry it for now. <sighs> Auto-tuning magazine. Let's just read this immediately. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. That better not be a buy. I swear to God. 
please, no, 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 no. Okay, we just scratched, we just scratched. Okay, disinfect it and then bandage it. Oh God, that about gave me a heart attack. All right, there's another cocaine brick. Okay, if we find a bag, we're gonna take it. All right, we need to eat something. Um, Eat this entire Tingles can. And then you know what, eat a painkiller as well. We're gonna room you in, I'm trying to work it out. Yeah, you're in there. Ooh, Carpentry Volume 2. Can we read this? Yes, just read it straight away. Oh, another D pistol. That's really tempting. Oh my god, another gun case. Oh my god. Foods around the world. We're going to read this straight away. A satchel? Okay, that's better than nothing. We're going to wear that. Okay, let's eat some food quick. We're going to eat this entire lemon. Delicious. And then we're going to eat these tingles. Right, and where's that cocaine brick? Uh, we're going to open the cocaine brick. How much does that give us? Okay, we have 22 bags of cocaine. It looks like a... Uh, Bob's going to be a cocaine addict. Very nice. We're going to need an early night tonight, so we're going to skip ahead a little bit so we're a bit less encumbered, and then we're going to go straight to bed. Well, a bit less exerted, I should say. Shit, shit, shit. Where's that alarm? Stop the alarm. Stop. There's a peanut butter sandwich here. I don't know when we pick that up, but we're going to eat it, and let's go straight to bed. We awake at 6.30. God, we have barely scratched the surface of the neighbourhood. <laughs> Jesus, that's poor. Right, we're going to eat all of this peanut butter. Right, let's check up on our bandage. Okay, that's healed already. Beautiful. I've just noticed Bob is still gaining weight. <laughs> Bob is a bit of a fat boy. Bob's a bit morbidly obese. Bob likes cocaine and peanut butter. Ooh, hello. Oh, shit. Right, come here. Okay, right, we're gonna check out this house next. Ooh, another post-apocalyptic night magazine. We'll take that. Right, okay, let's head upstairs. Ooh, an aqua bottle, let's grab that. Right, we're gonna eat this entire cabbage, this cheese, and then we're gonna eat this hot sauce. Nice. Okay, yeah, I was about to say there's definitely zombies here, but no shit. We really need to hope there's not more than one zombie here. I can't believe all of these houses have cupboards for just books. Ooh, we did find some antibiotics, we'll take those, and some beta blockers, definitely take those. <sighs> okay, please be a bigger bag or something. Ooh, a big hiking bag, let's take this. That is going to hopefully make a huge difference with our load. Yeah, it's made a difference for sure. A gun case. Uh, what gun is this? I think it's the one we don't like. Yeah, it's not worth even trying to take. You know what? We're going to have a nice bag of cocaine again. Again, kids, don't do school, stay in drugs. Well, that got rid of our encumbrance. Who would have thought cocaine would have woken you up so much? Ooh, another DIY for idiots. Again, we are a massive idiot. We're going to need that. Ooh, hello. Didn't even notice you were there. Ooh, fanny pack. We don't have a fanny pack yet, so we'll wear that. Okay, anything else in here? Ooh, there is a crowbar. Oh, okay, it's not in good condition. We'll hold out for a little bit. Ooh, we'll grab this other aqua bottle, and I'll tell you what, we're going to drop the normal water bottles. We're going to stick to the aqua bottles. Ooh, another engineer magazine. We're going to read that immediately. Okay, we're going to take the cloth bag upgrade. Oh, what's going to be in here? Oh, boo, another zombie. Disassemble the TV whilst we're here. Ooh, another bag of cocaine. Of course, we'll take that. Aluminium baseball bat, attach that to our back. Yes, please. Oh, another DE pistol. We just are going to have to take it this time. All right, see this bowl of fried rice. Very nice. Uh, as we're getting a little bit tired, we will just uh, grab one of our 22 bags of cocaine and snort that as well. I'm sorry, Mum, if you ever see this video. <laughs> we are feeling fantastic after that. Who would have thought it? All right, we're going to check out the houses that were opposite where we spawned once we've killed these zombies. Ooh, another post-apocalyptic night magazine. Very nice. We just seem to be finding loads of them. Car butchering in a nutshell. We're going to butcher some cars. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, God. A key. We'll take your key. We can use that with our cocaine. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. No, 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 no. He's not moving. He's not moving. He's not moving. He's not moving. Why is he not moving? Thank God we are not bitten. Oh my God. Oh shit, where did all of you come from? You know what, I'm gonna do the coward thing and I'm gonna use our Mustang to kill him. I've just remembered we took cocaine a second ago. Is it a bad idea for us to take cocaine and drive? I think it might be. getting tired again so let's snort another bag of cocaine this seems great for getting rid of high exertion by the way which window are they hitting on i can't tell oh god you're over there hello 
Right, eat these pickles. Ooh, we have found a hunter magazine, we'll take that. A DIY crafting for idiots. And protect yourself issue one, I've not seen that before. Oh, hello. There's another one. Ooh, men's adidas shirt, let's wear that. Military patch, we'll wear that too. Two more stun guns, I would take those, but they break immediately. Kind of pointless. Ooh, an armband. Does this do anything? Oh, we're just going to wear it. All right, sit on the ground. Before we go to bed tonight, we're going to read the car butchering magazine. We're going to read DIY crafting for idiots. We're going to read the Sousa dance magazine. We're going to read the Boredom Volume 3 book and the Boredom Volume 5 book. And how could we forget our other post-apocalyptic nights volume, the Protect Yourself issue 1, the Hunter magazine volume 3. And I think that is finally it. And... Bob's weight is now up to 119, by the way. <laughs> okay, we're very tired, so let's just have an early night and go to bed. Okay, we woke up at half ten, that's no good, so let's take a sleeping tablet and we'll go straight back to bed. Alright, we're straight back to bed. We are up at half four now, that's not ideal. God, we really still do have a lot to explore. I think maybe we need to go and check out some of these other areas within the next few days. You know what, I kind of want to take a chill day. I think I'm just going to drop everything and we are still really unfit, so I think I want to make it a priority right now to work on our skills. Our skills, I mean, I'm going to make it a priority today for us to work on our fitness because we are really not in good shape. There you go, an hour of burpees. Let's try and hit strength level two. And that is strength level two, very nice. Wait, 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 we have a cold. Why? We should not have a cold, so... Oh shit, right, okay. Why do we have a cold? We're gonna take these antibiotics. Why are we ill? God, Bob, don't die now. All right, let's have all of this almond milk. Take these canned carrots, and the dog food, of course, and the tittles. What else can we get hold of? A can of evaporated milk, we're gonna eat all of that. Okay, straight upstairs. Oh God, where the hell did you come from? Right, straight upstairs. I really don't know why... Oh, God, there's another one. All right, can we just go back to bed? Let's take a sleeping tablet and rest. I thought we had vitamins, but apparently not. Let me see if any are in the bathroom. All right, hopefully we can just go straight to bed. All right, straight to bed. Okay, that seems to have sorted us out a bit. All right, what are we going to take? We're on edge, so we're going to take some beta blockers. Whilst we're at it as well, we're going to eat some dog food. That'll be nice. Hopefully, all of that will sort us out. Because there's not much left time left in the day, we're just going to do some push-ups, maybe? Yeah, I think if we do an hour of push-ups, just so we can make the most of this evening, and then we'll go to bed at a normal time again. Come on, Bob. We're going to turn you into an absolute weapon. Right. We're now also going to do an hour of burpees. Come on, Bob. We're going to do an hour of burpees now. All right, okay. Let's take some painkillers. And before we go to bed, we're going to open these canned carrots, and we're going to eat those as well. All right, let's get ourselves off to bed. Again, we've woken up at 20 to 4. I don't know what's going on. Right, we're going to go back out and explore on day 14. Oh, fuck me. Right, let's check out next door. Ooh, backyard smelting and, more importantly, yet another cocaine brick. So we'll take that. Oh god, I cannot see shit. Right, let's get the switch on. Oh, that's done. Fuck all. Brilliant. Propane torch. I will take one of these. Oh my god. Why can't I see him? Why has he gone invisible? Why did he go invisible? That's not fair. Genuinely, why is everything not rendering in? We might be getting a little bit limited now to what we can actually find in these houses. Okay, where you at? Oh, hello. That's little fella. Disinfectant and bandages. Oh, I'm definitely going to need them. Okay, it sounds like a fella's in here. No? Okay, apparently not. Oh, bathroom. There we go. A Michael Jackson poster. My God, hold on. We need to see what this looks like. Oh my God. Yeah, so for the next survivor that comes in here, they've now got a, uh, a Michael Jackson bad poster to walk in next to. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh God. You know what, I kind of want to dye my hair blonde. Let's do it. Right, there's a sewing kit here. We will take the needle and thread and just see if we can make any upgrades. Right, we're going to read Backyard Smelting whilst we're in it, because we are getting tired already. Right, we're going to add an upgrade to our bag, just so we can I increase how much we can carry with it. Guys, we're already tired, and it's only uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, so we know what that means. It's time for another bag of cocaine. Okay, there's definitely zombies in this uh, this next building. Oh my god, there's an alien movie poster. I mean, and a Night of the Living Dead poster. Okay, I'm taking both of those. Penis and butthead and falling down. Oh my god, the authentic posters mod was an absolute blessing. Oh, what? The zombie was invisible. How is that fair? 
What is wrong with my game? That is the second invisible zombie we've seen today. If this run ends because of an invisible zombie, I'm going to be so annoyed. Oh god, I'm on edge now. Right, let's eat all of this lard. All of this lemon. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Ooh, another fanny pack. We'll take that. Right. Quick hour of burpees to get us in shape before bed. Right, it is only half three, but we do need to go to bed. Again, we're up at ten to four in the morning. Okay, our weight is now all the way up to one, two, one. My God, we are getting thick. Okay, we are heavily encumbered again, so we are just going to get tired immediately. That means we need to immediately go and get some food from downstairs. Oh, motherfucker. Right, let's eat these pickles and the strawberry milk. If you're wondering why I'm letting Bob gain weight, it's actually so we can reduce our encumbrance as we go along. Uh, this is purely because once you are full or filter bursting, your encumbrance just massively drops down. And with our encumbrance constantly going up, we keep getting tired quickly, therefore making it a little bit more difficult for us to go out. We can eat all this cereal as well whilst we're here. Okay, this is all that we've managed to explore in these first, like what, 15 or 16 days, I think, to keep things fresh. Maybe we move over to this location just here now. Ooh, another post-apocalyptic night magazine. My God, there's so many of them. Okay, we do have another cocaine brick, so we'll put that with the other cocaine brick in the back of the car. Oh! Stop everything. I need to see if we can get that Porsche. Okay, please let there be a key in this. I'd love to get this Porsche. Of course it's locked, for fuck's sake. I know I said we're going to push around, but I really want to see if we can find the Porsche car key in here. Oh, hello. There better be a Porsche key in here somewhere. <gasps> the Porsche key is actually here. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go eat some food whilst we're here. Right, I'm going to eat this bowl of something. A ravioli. We're going to read this post-apocalyptic nights magazine, and then we're going to drop it straight away. Right, we are tired, so before we push out, let's just sit on the ground for a second. Um, oh, we do have the cocaine on us. Um, God, this has been a lifesaver. We're going to snort the cocaine so we can get rid of our high exertion. Yes, there goes the high exertion. Yes, we've got the Porsche. Right, let's uh, open it up. Nothing in it. Let's see what state it's in. The engine's at the back with these, I think. Oh, it is in very good condition. Okay, let's get the cocaine. Okay, take the cocaine brick. Cocaine bricks, I should say. And the railroad hammer. And we're going to stick it in the front of the Porsche. Right, put the cocaine bricks in and the railroad hammer. I can't believe we've actually got a Porsche. Oh my god, and it's nearly got a full tank as well. This couldn't be going much better right now. Watch me absolutely total this car immediately. Oh god. Oh my god, my game is uh, lagging. I don't think my game likes being in Lievenberg, so uh, maybe we won't stay here too long. <gasps> Ooh, Porsche and a motorhome could be quite a cool combo. Okay. There we go, one level in long blade. No, fuck. Okay. Oh shit, okay. Right, you know what? We're gonna walk back over to the Mustang and we're just gonna run them all over with it. God, we have got a long way to go with improving our, uh, our weapon skills. At least this might help us build up our sprinting skill because we have absolutely none whatsoever. Well, I'm glad I didn't take any fuel out of the Mustang. Right, we're going to kill these guys. Oh my god, how many zombies just came out of that house? Okay, we've actually managed to kill all of them. That's a relief. Right, if any more zombies come, this is our killing car. Hell yeah, what a little nomad setup that is. Oh, and it's got beer. Nice. And a TV. Oh, you know what? We might have to uh, spend a little bit of time in this motorhome. Toilet. Oh my god. Right, there's some wall space in here as well. So, uh, where's those posters that we got? Right, I mean, we can't really place the posters at a good angle, so it's just sort of scattered. We've got the Night of the Living Dead one by the kitchen. I mean, halfway in the kitchen. And the alien one tucked into the bed. Very nice. Very homely. Mm, another zombie's come to say hello. 
Okay, these seem like the less uh, bougie houses, I want to say. Me kill zombie. <gasps> More crack. Yes, please. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Where am I going? Where am I going? Out the front door. Yeah, no thanks. I think we're just going to hit the road, you know. Ooh, we're in a busy part of town around here. Ooh, I think this is a big police station around here. Oh, I think this would be stupid, actually. You know what? We're going to try to take them on. Ooh, God. Right, we're already getting tired, so whip out the cocaine. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Move. Okay, it's just a scratch. Just a scratch. It is but a scratch. Yeah, maybe we're uh, we're not ready for this just yet. Yeah, we're just going to leave. Right, we're a bit of a crossroad here, quite literally. Pretty sure this is like a spa thing or something around here, so I'm interested to drive around there. I have once uh, tried this map before. I tried to record a video and died like a week in, so I didn't bother uploading it, but... Uh, I've got a rough idea of where things are. Okay, I know there is a weapon store in here, so I'll be really interested in raiding that. Right, can we disassemble this door? We can disassemble the door. Okay, come on. It does sound like a zombie's nearby, but oh my god, look at the size of this weapon orb. Oh my god. Oh shit, a zombie's broken down the door. Yeah, okay, okay. Not having Morty hit on is making this so much more difficult. Right, we're going to eat these tittles, and we're also going to have a quick bag of cocaine. Right, hopefully we got rid of all those zombies. Oh, hello. Ooh, ammo sling. We're going to wear this immediately. An army coat. We'll wear that too. And the balaclava. Very nice. God, there's so many weapons here. I think for now, we're just going to take all of these shotgun shells and the shotguns. I do want the M14s, but it's probably not worth the risk right now. Because of our current skills, there is absolutely no point taking the M14s. However, I will make a note on the map that they're here. Right, okay, let's lob all of the shotguns in the cupboard and all of the ammo in there with them. You know what, I'll put the handgun ammo in there as well. Okay, we've managed to loot quite a lot of weapons here. We've just lobbed it all into that cupboard. As I mentioned, I think I'm going to make a quick note that there's M14s here. There we go. We've made a quick note that the M14 and the ammo's here. Right. Now, there probably are still zombies in there, however, I do want to try and improve some of our st skills again before we go to bed. As you can see, our sprinting skill is just non-existent, so I think I'm going to just run round the little loop that we have here in the car park uh, for the time being. Okay, there's zombies over there. We'll kill those first. Right, okay. Let's get running. Right, we do need to try and find a treadmill at some point as that will help us build up these fitness and sprinting skills a lot quicker. Okay, we're already tired, so I'll tell you what, we'll get him to have one more bag of cocaine and we'll carry on sprinting a little bit longer. God, we've already run out of water again, so we do need to top that up. God, we've barely moved up in the sprinting skill. That really did not take long for us to get too tired, so let's hop in the car. Before we do anything else, let's quickly fill up our bottles. All right, straight to bed. Okay, we're awake at 10 to 6 in the morning. All right, I'll tell you what, I think I'm just gonna drop like our bag and some of these heavier items. Um, and I'm just gonna make today the priority, well, we're gonna make sprinting the priority today because as you can see, we are really struggling with it. All right, we are having to do this run in the rain, which isn't too ideal. Okay, we're already highly exerted, so back into the van we go to rest. All right, you know what? I've got an idea. We're going to grab half the cocaine bags. I think you know where this is going. We're going to start running again. Okay, that only took like half an hour to become highly exerted, so let's take a quick snort of the cocaine -ness. Okay, we're no longer highly exerted. Let's keep running. We're just going to rinse and repeat this little technique. Unless we overdose, then we've got to stop. I didn't consider that maybe we could get quite ill from being out in the rain this long, but oh well. Okay, we are highly exerted again, so let's have another bag of cocaine. Now, as we are drenched, we are going to go inside slightly just to have a quick break. Ooh, melted ice cream. Let's eat all of that. Okay. I think it's best that we check out the medical bit because I've got a feeling we probably are going to get a cold again. We'll take these antidepressants because we keep getting depressed. We'll take the painkillers and the bandages. Ooh, sleeping tablets, painkillers, take those. Alcohol wipes, we can get drunk off those later. Adhesive wipes and beta blockers are definitely going to come in handy too. Okay, disassemble this door. Ooh. An even better gas mask, we'll wear this. A CS2B vest, okay, we'll wear that. 
Okay, we won't take too many of these medical things. I don't really think we need that many. Oh, finally, yes, we have found antibiotics. We will take all of these. Uh, oh, God, it is tempting to take the M14s, but I am going to refrain. Right, now the rain has stopped, I think we're going to spend the rest of the evening going back to our sprinting. Never mind, let me take care of this first. Right, straight back to sprinting. That is the most pathetic run I think I've ever seen. We're barely moving. Okay, we are getting tired again, so let's have another bag of cocaine. We have finally hit level one sprinting. My God, that is taking so long. I think we're just going to keep going for now until the rest of the evening, until we're too battered to carry on. Right. One more bag of cocaine. We all know it's probably not going to be the last bag though. <laughs> I love how in past videos I'll have like two cans of beer and my character be overdosing. Yeah, this one's had like 10 bags of cocaine <laughs> and he's still completely fine. Right, I think we've absolutely pushed a limit now. So we're just going to go back and rest for the night. Uh, now we are completely battered. So let's just go straight to bed at half four. Okay, this puts us on day 17. Okay, we seem to be at a nice healthy... Oh, that's not 122 kilograms there, Bob, because that's kind of heavy. Now, you need to bear with me on this. I know this is going to be an absolutely horrific decision. We're going to... Oh, hold on. Uh, grab one of these shotguns. This one's not great, so we're just going to dump it. Attach one of these shotguns to our back. I think you know where this is going. We're now going to open all of this ammo. Right, we're going to put all the shotgun shells in our pouch. Right, we're going to grab all of the cocaine. God, we are so weak, we're struggling just to hold the shotgun. Okay, so on day 17, we are going to push back round to the police station. Oh dear. Oh shit. Oh, please, come on. There we go. Oh my god. The lag. Oh my god. My game can't handle this map. Oh, for God's sake, we're crashing because of how bad the game's lagging. Right, get out. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. It could be the end of us, with the game running at two frames a second. Oh, my God, I, I, we're actually going to die because of the lag. I am so sorry, everyone, for the lag in this. Okay, if this is even still recording, my computer crashed, it restarted, and I was dead when it restarted. So, oh my god. I promise I will have a 100 day series of hero challenge at one point. Um, however, I spent quite a while putting this video together, so unfortunately I think we're gonna have to stick with this for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video regardless. Um, thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Okay, so this is the entire mod list. If you are interested in any, do pause and take a look to check them out. I do recommend some of them. They're very good fun.